Memories are created when we see an event and have an emotional reaction to it. We process the event and immediately put a label on it. That's bad, or that's worse, or nobody loves me. When we recall the past event, it pops up in our brains with the same labels. Feeling your emotions and mood. Now picture yourself on top of a snowy hill with fresh powder. You have your sled with you, and you are looking down at the set tracks you created from your first ride down the hill. The set of tracks is the memory of that ride, your labels, what you have imprinted in your mind about that experience. Living in the past is just like laying your sled on the same exact tracks and packing the snow harder and harder as you repeat the same ride. Eventually, the grooves will become so thick that moving the sled out of those tracks will become increasingly difficult. We must take a proactive approach climb to the top of that hill and start from another point to break this vicious cycle. In order to accomplish this, a proactive approach is necessary. And believe it or not, happiness is a choice. You must choose to fill your world with love, joy, self-care, and an abundance of positive self-talk. These actions help us process events differently and create an entirely new ride down that hill. Creating positive labels for the memories that you have is not only important, but your survival and progression depends on it. Perhaps Dr. Emoto's experiment explains it the best way. Dr. Emoto separated water into 100 Petri dishes and assigned each dish a fate, positive and negative. The positive energy water was spoken to with praise and happiness, while the negative energy water was scolded and spoken to with aggression. When observed under a microscope, the water given positive energy transformed into beautiful crystals, while the negative energy water crystallized into ugly patterns. Keeping in mind that humans are comprised of 70% water, think about the negativity we are feeding ourselves daily. Think about the damage we are causing to every atom, every molecule of our body. We have the ability to create our own fate and fortune. So pay close attention to what you are telling yourself and others. Become the creator of your own world.